Okay, I've got two things happening right now. I've started R as you can see and I have also downloaded, let me show you where that is, a file called drinking.r uh, data. I'd like to get this data frame into R. So there's a couple of ways to do that. For most of you, you'll be able to just go to this particular file, double click on it, it will open R for you and it will have the the information from this file in there that you can see with an ls parentheses command. But uh, if that doesn't work then here are some things to do. Here's a useful command it's called get working directory. So <clears throat> in whatever operating system you're using in it it will use the right kind of nomenclature here showing you where that working directory is. But now notice that I've got this, that is not where I saved the file. If it is, then I'm all ready to go. But if, uh, if not, then I need to pay attention to where it is. In my operating system, it's in Home Downloads. So what I'll need to do is change this to set working directory to be, and I'll use that same kind of notation for my operating system, home will uh, downloads. Okay, and now I'm just going to check to make sure that that worked right. I'm going to ask for a get working directory again. Okay, that's a that's a good place. Now I can list files that are in my working directory. I'm just putting empty parentheses here because it will look in the working directory at that particular time. And of course I've got a ton of stuff here. But uh, one of those files is this drinking our data file that we're interested in. Okay, so what that did for me was allow me to see uh, what was in that particular working directory. Okay, so now here's the command. I'm going to do a load, and this needs to be in parentheses, uh, drinking r, r data. See if that does the job. Now it didn't look like it did anything, but if I do an ls at that point to see what's in there, then I've got this, this uh, object that came from the drinking.r data called data. And so now I'll be able to begin to study that data. If I did names on data, then it's telling me the gender of the people that were surveyed, uh, how many alcoholic drinks they're using, what the height of the person is, and, and if they would report cheating if they, if they found it. Okay. Hope that helps.